<laughs> Guys, I feel embarrassed. My, I forgot to turn the volume up for this video. And this is like the fourth time I recorded this video because I made it too long. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna show you the build that I'm working on. This is the Dark Lord build. Get a good look at it. And yes, we're rocking the Dark Light Saber. And yeah, first let's kill this enemy because he's not gonna let me let you talk. I'm gonna show you the damage in this one. Obviously, he. This is an enemy that takes resistance from this weapon, so that lets you know right there how strong it is. And he's got grayed out health. If the health is gray, that means they're taking less damage. If it's white, they're taking normal. And if it's red, they're taking more. That's just how you know. Pick this up. Get up. To my in my opinion, this is the strongest weapon in the game, and I haven't even finished maxing out my stats. So my stats is 20 strength, 19 agility. Oh, I lied. Let's go ahead and enter that threshold. Twenty agility. My bad. You gotta make sure that's correct. So yeah, 20 strength, 20 agility, 25. Then we got 40, 40, 40 on vitality, radiance, and infernal. This is an Umbra build. We're rocking the loss. I want to say it's Burst Q Catalyst. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. This is the strongest Umbra Catalyst that has five slots. So, just putting that out there. It's A scaling, and then it's 20 and 20. It's 192 plus 407 at 40 40. And this isn't even all the way because I can pretty much take it to 60 60 or even 99 99 and it will get stronger. Um, the secondary weapon is only because I don't like how you hold it if you just have one weapon. So. I like to hold it like this because this is how you usually will hold a lightsaber. Most people have been doing the Pieta Sword for a lightsaber build, but I'm part of the dark side, so we did the Umbrending. We gotta rock this sword. Um, this is a Judge Cleric's Corrupted Sword, which is from the second phase fight. All you gotta do is simply beat the Judge Cleric and use the Remembrance. This is one of the weapons. You also have um, this one, is with the other sword, and then she has a spear as well. But they do not look as cool as this one. Well, the spear I haven't got yet, so I don't know. And this one I just simply found. I can't remember where I found it at. But it just simply matches the build. That's the only reason I'm rocking it. But also, as you see, it gets points for all the stats that have to do with attack. Which are Strength, Agility, Radiance, and Inferno. It's a C+. It's not plus 10 yet. So it's probably get to a B- minus at the max. So we'll find out. And um, it'll probably get to around 400 something attack power. But the two rooms on rocking increase physical damage while dual winning. Which is why, another reason why I have it. And for this one, I got the rune um, essence, which you basically get from doing the Sparky and Galindi quest line, the blacksmith. Simply give her the rune, and you'll get this one. And it ignores weight and stat requirements. Where I'm reading this is the bottom of where it says Judge Clear Collector Sword plus five. At the bottom, it says ignore weight and stat requirements. That is the rune I have slotted. You get that rune from giving the rune tablet to the blacksmith instead of Sparky. It's the last rune tablet you get. And then I got increased elemental damage because this weapon does holy and fire. And then I got gain mana upon killing because obviously this is an umbra build. You need that. And this is plus 5, which is boss weapon strength. And it, the max out for boss weapons. And as you see, it's plus B scaling and strength and agility. And plus A in Radiant Inferno. And obviously I don't have my strength and agility to level 40 yet. So I can't show you where this weapon is the strongest attack power. I'm pretty sure it'll be 8 something, maybe even 900. So this weapon is OP. The only other weapons that come close to having that much scaling... Um, if you scroll down, there are the Puget weapons, so you have the Puget Pole Arm, but it starts at C-, I don't know how much it would be at the max, but I don't think it's as good. Um, and then you have the Iron Wafer, but it does Wither Damage, which is good, but that means they can get the health back if they hit you, and we don't want that to be. And then there is the Veil Piercer. Um, if there is any more, they're not as good, and I don't really see any else that has like plus four, I've seen three of them. Which is usually the umbral weapons and, and then some special weapons like um, Demoro's Cleaver. But not many weapons have that. I think the only other weapon that would come close to this weapon, I, I don't really know. But this weapon right here, uh, the Harrower's, uh, I think her name is Dovala or Dervala. This weapon is a pretty good because it has a 200 frostbite, which makes the enemies poise. We were able to get um, grievous attacks easier. But um, it's not as good as the scaling with the weapon we have. And obviously, our first build, we were doing this weapon before we changed our stats. Because this is going to be my new game plus build. And then we had Rock this one, but it's just not as good as, as when I was able to get the Dark Lightsaber. And it doesn't look as cool, so I'm not rocking it. 
But yeah, that's this is the best weapon to me in this game because of the build that I'm working with. Because it's an Umbra build. So once I get my strength and endurance, I mean not strength and endurance, but my strength and agility to 40, I'll really be able to show how strong this weapon is. Now obviously, you know, I was done with this game. So in this video, I will show you my form spot that helped me get, I got from basically level 60 to 132 in less than a day. And I'll show you how I did it. Now, some of the items you had to go look at the wiki to find them because it involves farming mimics. And I do not know what they are because I've already collected them with the exception of maybe one or two. I had to go find those. And then when you farm mimics, they drop runes. Those runes and uh, they increase your bigger gain. And I will show that after I finish showing the build off and then we'll talk about that later. But um, this is the build I'm rocking. These are the two current weapons and the catalyst. I'm rocking this spell, Martyrdom. Um, Latimer's Javelin, I believe it's pronounced. This is the only ice spell in the game. Grieving Gaze. And then Umbral Agony and Barrage of Echoes. This is just my build. I can use all spells and I have all Umbral spells unlocked. I have the achievement for it. I'm rocking the Infernal Chenches Helm and the Crimson Rector Armor. I will show you exactly where I formed this enemy at. To be able to form his stuff. I recently just got his pants. But they don't look as cool when it comes to my build. Um, this is a boss thing. You get this from Remembrance. The boss of the um, Tower of Penance. That's where I got this from. And this is Demerol's trouser. You get it from doing her quest line or killing her. But I have not done that. I did a quest line. So I don't know how you go about killing her. But it's probably if you go with doing the Radiance Enemy. But we did the Infernal Enemy. So we'll kill this guy again. You can form him for the Holy Bulwark armor if you need to. But as you see, the sword is it's freaking strong, man. So this is the javelin. For the most part, it one-shots most enemies. If they take regular damage or advanced damage. Only once it's got some tolerance to it, it usually survive if they block. But even some of them die instantly. And I'm going to go to a more in-game area. And then I'll be able to show that off so you, so you can know exactly what I'm talking about. This is the ice spell. Excuse me. I think I'm maybe getting the code. You know, you can actually spit out multiple of them. And then, so the Crimson Rector enemy is right up here. And I'll show you where to put your faces down so that way you can keep have a, a faster way to form them so so your vistas can be put anywhere in this flower bed I don't know why I did that and then once you put it down you just refresh the area and you simply would just run down here and kill this enemy. And that's it. You just rinse and repeat until you get it. I want to say when he's turning around, it's not a one shot. Was it a two shot or a three shot? Because he takes uh, less damage because he's resistant to it. But these enemies are all weak to ice, I want to say. Yeah. Whenever the damage modifier is red, they're taking much damage. And then. I'll show you my other spell. This is my X spell. It goes through enemies and then it literally will blow up. So it's better it gets a pack of enemies. Let me go ahead and pop this. There's a pack here. Oh, wrong one. Well, it's still OP. I think there's a pack of enemies outside. I should be able to show it there. Hopefully it'll work like it's supposed to. Nope. They're not strong enough for me to show it off like that. But basically, any enemies that it goes through, it will wither their health and then it explodes. Now this one's better up close. If you can get... It's better for bigger enemies like bosses and stuff like that. It's sort of like the Dark Souls 3, the Hex. You can shoot out with the... Um, I forgot what they're called, but you can shoot out a bunch of Hex balls. And they would do a lot of damage, but the spell was better if you did it up close. That's all this is, it's just do it up close, it does a lot of damage. And so that was why X is the one that goes through enemies. A is the ice spell. 
And then the Martyr Dome, I'll show that eventually. And then the Spear, I always keep on the trigger because it's something I remember. If I keep it on the trigger. It's the spell that costs the least amount of mana, almost. I think maybe X or Y might cost a little less than the Javelin. Let's see. The Javelin costs 52. Okay, so it costs the same. The one that costs less is Y, though. Which makes it a, a good spell for spamming if you need to spam for some reason. And then I will go to my in-game area to show you where I usually show it off at. So that way you know how strong this build really is. And then I'll show you my farming spot and we'll end the video. Uh, the only problem I have is like, they say they don't want you to be in Umbra a long time when I was watching the dev stream. But the best items are fine in Umbra. The best eye for the Umbra lamp is fine in Umbra. The upgrades is fine in Umbra. You get the most vigor in Umbra. You get an achievement for killing this... Um, the Scarlet Shadow, which shows up in Umbra. So, they kind of contradicted themselves, or basically just straight out lied. So, a regular strong attack will one-shot these enemies. And this is the second area before the very last area. So, this is an in-game area. And then, like I said, strong attack, one-shot these enemies. But this enemy right here... It, this weapon is good versus... It's just, for some reason... Like, if you let her go to her second phase, she can wreck you, so just do as much damage as you can before she does her second phase. And when she does the charging, just well let her. Or else she'll start doing a bunch of spam attacks. And then enemies this is the best place to get large delirium shards too as well I usually get one or two per run per run and if you wish to increase that um you just need the bounty for ring it takes your item discovery from 1 to 1.15 I don't remember where it is you'll have to search it up in the wiki um it, it was in my main playthrough but I do not know which video so I showed it off when I got it but I can only know off the top of my head, um, but if you want there, you also can get the rabbit paws from killing the enemies that slam their heads on the ground. Um, there are the spike penitent enemies. As you see, this sword pretty much two shot these enemies. I wouldn't took no damage there except for West for that, so you know, it is what it is. Now they didn't drop any time, anything this time, this time, but you can just simply. Use this vestige, which I already have for you guys. Rest, rinse and repeat, and they will drop a large delirium. They will also drop. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit loud. I got my headphones in my, in my thing because my volume was turned down in the last video. So um, I got that whole set, but that you can get two versions of their helm. You can get the mass helm. I was rocking this first, but it just this one just seems a lot better when it comes to what this build looks like. You know, the fashion is important. I can also do the steel wielding one. In do the great damage. And like I said, my second weapon isn't max to 10 yet. And I don't have 40 in strength in uh, agility yet. But you see, they're dropping large delirium shards. And I got two that time. Plus the Binding, the Ebonite Sword. We already used that one last time. So we got both versions of their sword and we got both of their helms. I do not know if there is a second version of the chest piece which has the cape because the version that we have does not have a cape and that made me kind of mad so I might have to look at the wiki to see if they drop the cape version as well because I'm like why don't we have a cape doesn't make sense we should have a cape come on guys it's not really that big for them <laughs> the armor set's pretty dope even without the cape but yeah and then to show off my spell again this shit one shot so yeah the Umbral spells are OP, and then this one will show off the Mardome. Dome. And it is good for clearing out a lot of enemies too as well. It's like run away if you want to. Yeah, I'll still kill you. Now I already have all of their armor, all three of those, so if you need to farm their armor, this is a great price to farm. Also, you can go into Umbro and farm here too, but also as you see they drop the regular delirium shards on top of the lower shards, so you can farm both.
So like I said, for this one, it's better against bosses, but if you can get it to be up close like that, it'll do some a lot of damage. So yeah, this is the build that we're going to be rocking for New Game Plus. Um, starting today, all the videos I have ever made for Lords of Father will all be live today. So then the first full playthrough will be wrapped up. The first video of my Lord playthrough, which is what we, the class we unlocked for doing the deer in, and that will be up as well. And so will this video as well. The video is showing you off my build for New Game Plus. So this is the end of that. So if you want to exit the video here, this is my New Game Plus build that I'm working on. I haven't went into New Game Plus yet, but this is the build. I'm going to wait until my strength and agility are both at at least level 30, 25 or 30 before I go to New Game Plus. And like I said, these are the stuff I'm rocking. Uh, this is mana regeneration. This is mana regeneration on hits. And this gives you, every time you cast a spell, you get more strength. Now, if I was to put on one of these spells and switch these rings to where I can use other spells with this catalyst, then I can use Infernal and Radiant spells and Vitality, and I would be able to use this to its max. But as you see, I don't really need that. Um, and I haven't took any of the rings because I got the rings that you can use different catalysts. I also got the rings to where you can increase your maximum mana and increase your spell power. So I'm not even using the full strength of the spells if I want to. And it's just level 40. You can pretty much take uh, level strength, agility, and radius in front of up to 60. And then you'll be OP. I'm already OP at this level. You know what I'm saying? These, these areas don't give me no trouble anymore. Um, they didn't really give me too much trouble anyway by the time I got to them. But even Castle doesn't give me any much trouble. And then, um, yeah, so that's the end of this. So if you want to leave the video, you can now. Um, I already showed you the farm spot for the Crimson Rector, and I already showed you my build. So next, I will be showing my farming spot. So for you, those of you who want to stick around for that, you can do that. <coughs> I'm going to go hop over here first, though, and spin my bigger so that way I can start from zero and show you that spot. So for those of y'all who want to... Skip the video now or in the video now. Thank you for coming to Country King Gaming. I love you guys and I'll see you guys later. Okay, so we're gonna hop over to my farm spot. I see if it is or not. Because it's messing up. We already know that ever since the pets they did that they fixed the areas looking like marshmallows and looking like the texture's not showing up. I'm trying to get it to save. Usually if you press start and stuff, it'll save. Our holy work continues, Lad Ari. We got one more until we get that next out. Okay, let's just exit. Okay. So we love the game. <clears throat> but, anyways, yeah, they kind of contradicted themselves with that live stream because it's like the best stuff is in Umbro, so it's like half the stuff you said just didn't make no sense. Because it was like, half the stuff they said was good, but the half stuff is just like, you, you're literally fixing people's ways to upgrade. Like, people found a way to AFK for them and a way to to get the Crimson, um, not Crimson, I keep saying Crimson Reaper, but it's a Scarlet Shadow to kill themselves. And I understand, you know, patching that, but why not patch the stuff that makes the game not fun first and then patch that? People are losing their levels dropping from, it doesn't matter what level you are, all the way down to 60. That means you could have played for 200 hours. And 150 or hours could be just thrown away if you try to play multiplayer. Why not fix that first instead of quickly fixing an AFK form? Are you serious? It just doesn't make sense. And then why say you don't want people to be in Umbral, but some of the best stuff you get is in Umbral? Even the, like, and we'll show you, like, Marco's Axe is a weapon, but it's also the name of an Umbral Eye. And if you put it on your Lantern, guess what? Enemies will fear you. The smaller Embrys in Umbral, you know it? Just for the sake of this farming video, I'll go ahead and put it on. Kinda wish you could just put it on in a vestige at some point. That would have been better. But yeah. So you go right here, suck it on Barai. And then I'll change it to the Margo's Axe and I'll show you. I got the healing. And then I can go ahead and get some more Umbro Scallons here too. It'll be a while before we unlock the last tier on this one because they they don't plan on increasing the fact that you only get three eyes for each time. They said they think that's enough. 
So right now they don't plan. This this sounds ridiculous, man. I guess they they want it to take a long time before you can get it. But then the armor costs so many eyes, like it doesn't it's not fun, basically. It's not fun. Like that's the best way I can put it. It's um, offering remembrance. Um, I have all of this. Obviously, once you get dug down to 60, the game glitches, so now all this stuff can be bought again. It's crazy, man. Um, I guess that if you want to have a double lightsaber, you could now because they got a glitched out, but that's not fun. Um, but I have this, yeah, I have this. I think I have all of this. Oh, I don't have the spear yet, so I need 10 more, so I'll worry about that when I get 10. But now that my, you see my, my head is glowing, whatnot, now enemies will be scared of me here. It's really the weaker enemies, but hey, it, it helps out. We'll go to the bell room, this is the farming spot. But yeah, it's like you contradicted yourself. Umbro is the best place to be. You get the most vigor there. So why are you lying saying that you don't want to spend time there when there's an achievement for spending time in there killing the, the Crimson Shadow or the um, Scarlet Shadow? And then, hold on, who is in? Let's see about this. Yeah, but this is the this is the thing they said they won't increase the amount that you get for it. So no matter what, you're only going to be able to get free each time. Go ahead and follow me. Come on. Since you're not going to run... Throw you off. Kick you off. This is what I usually do when I'm farming. I'll show you the whole thing. Yeah, the plucked eyeballs, they're like, yeah, we're not going to increase that because that's good enough. I'm like, are you serious? Most of the armors cost like 1,200 at least. 1,200 eyeballs. You got to do three at a time. Now, there is an item that lets you see more of those red lamps, but that's just ridiculous. We're just being 100. It's ridiculous. There's no... There is no... In no world, that is not ridiculous. Okay, so... What I do is I'll swap this weapon out for an agility weapon. Now, when you kill mimics, you get runes. And the runes, like I said, you can see to the right what it does. It increases your vigor and increases physical gain. Now, we're not actually going to use a second weapon. We're going to two-hand the weapon that actually does the damage. So it doesn't matter that it decreases our damage. We get the vigor gain. Now, at the top, you see it's 1.2 in my multiplier where my vigor is. If I take this weapon off, it's just 0.1. So we'll put that on. And then, what we'll do is, press on me, to a spot where they can't shoot me. Never mind, they can shoot me through this. For some reason, this game, the enemies can shoot you through everything, but your attacks will not go through everything. It's, it's another problem. So we're going to keep this ring on, and you're going to swap this ring out for this ring. Actually, if you want to, you can swap it off for the Battle for Ring 2, so that way you can increase your drop rate. But you need the Moth Ring, which is the Upper Calf Wrath. It's on a body hanging up inside the little plaza. You can check it out on a... Um, on the reddit if you need to if you do not have it obviously i'm at the end of the game so i've already split all the areas so you get them offering and now you see my multiplier is times three and then we we'll hop over to umbral and automatic jumps to 1.43 so now i have the rooms like i said check out the reddit if you want to know where to farm these mimics is i do not know exactly where they all are at because i found them just generally while playing there's a couple i need to find so i have to check it out myself i do not have that knowledge but if you have already killed Mimics, then you will have this increased vigor gain. Mimics are, uh, when you get a drop from an enemy, hold on, let's see if we can get one. Then I'll show you the difference real quick. Maybe they won't drop anything, we'll see. I know one drop will get automatically, so we'll get there. Actually, I think I got a drop up there. Oh, never mind, that wasn't a drop, that's a win. Go ahead and kill this guy. Get these enemies to pop up. But remember, we had no uh, vigor basically when we came down here. Come on now. I didn't roll forward. They really need to fix the lock on in this game. Sometimes you can't even lock on to anybody, and other times you just lock on to everybody. So, pop the skull. Now, this Crimson Reactor usually always drops a skull. Sometimes he won't, even if you don't have the Bountiful Ring going. But he usually always drops an item that you can pick up to where you'll get free vigor as well. Also, this is a safe spot if you ever need to stop when you're down here. And there goes the Seething Vigor Skull. Now, he usually always drops it, so it's free vigor. 
And then you just pop this too as part of the routine. But that's only if you die. You don't want to keep dying. You want to stay in Umbro as long as possible without dying. But if you do die, you do get a reward for it. So you'll get bigger as well. And it's easy to get your stuff back. You just come back here and axe them. And then when you're ready to switch over to Umbro, you do that. So then you just wait now until it just piles up. But as you see, because I have that eye, they're scared of me. They will not attack. Now if I face away from them, sometimes they will get bold. But for the most point, these small enemies and the enemies that are the caster versions, they will not attack you. Sometimes other enemies will also hesitate, but they will attack you. Oh, I'm in a safe spot. That's why you disappeared. So this is the farming spot. Now if you look above my health, it'll show you I'm getting three times the vigor. That's also how you know it works. Now you can get somebody to drop you a second moth ring. That'll be times four. And then if you, I think you can get three mimics that will drop you these room per run. But you might get lucky, and they all might drop one. And so you might be able to get a total of however the mimic mimics there are. I don't know. I think there's maybe uh, five or six. There may be more. You have to check the Reddit. So theoretically, you could have uh, six up here and two mods down here. So that's an eight times multiplier. It has to be an agility weapon though. That's why I just have a pure agility weapon to upgrade it. So I would need to go find another agility weapon because it only fit one slot if it's an agility weapon. Um, and it's a mixed weapon, but if it's pure agility, you can do all the slots, all the slots on there. And you need a plus 10 to get three slots. So you would take this to plus 10, and then if you had, and theoretically, if you had another one for plus 10, if you had six of these rooms, you can get times six multiplier, and two would be eight. So this is the end of this video, and when it comes to if you want to know where the spot is, what my build is, and all that. So another timestamp. You know, this is the place that you would form it, and all you would do is simply run around killing enemies. And if you put this eye in there, but you don't have to have this eye, you know, so you don't have to have them scared of you. Uh, with my build, I pretty much one shot everything or two shots, you know, at the most three if they're a little bit tougher, except for the the red um, Scarlet Shadow, because for some reason they make it just so strong to where it can one shot you. And on top of that, you don't do that much damage to it. It doesn't matter how strong your weapon is, you don't do a lot of damage. You have to repeatedly hit it over and over. Now, I'm going to show you what I usually do, so that way I can kill it, because I already have the achievement for killing it. You know, you only get the achievement if you kill it, not if you cheese it. If you cheese it, you do not get the achievement. So, let it pop up. Oh, never mind. The dodge didn't work because the game frame rate dropped right there. If you notice, <laughs> it slowed down when he popped up at the ground. So that sucks, because now I have to wait another six minutes, because it takes about six minutes for it to pop up. It's like, that's another reason they need to fix this game, because... And I just got about 10 more comments from my other video about <laughs> people build getting reset again. So, yeah, like I said, it's a very permanent thing. You can end this video if you no longer want to watch. Um, this is basically, this is the farm spot. This is what you do. Hopefully the Crimson Reaper, your game won't, the, you know... It, hopefully your game won't mess up while you're trying to do this. <laughs> I have no reason, or not reason, I have no idea why they haven't fixed... Um, all the issues yet like I uh, maybe not everything but like the stability of the game I think is one of the first things they should fix but they've been patching form spots it's like you've been patching the wrong thing take your if you're gonna take your time to patch anything patch the stability don't do all these quick um, patches to get rid of the form spots that doesn't make sense like you you're wasting your time doing that Fix the bugs and the crashes and stuff first before you fix the things that people are using to make their character get back. Because a lot of people are doing these blizzards, not all, <clears throat> and cheese and all this other stuff to get their characters back because their levels dropped. My character dropped from 139 to 60. If I hadn't have found this and forgot that I had got these runes from killing mimics, I wouldn't even be able to get my level back to what it is. I was going to quit this game, but then once I found the spot, I gave it another chance because I was just like, I had did my first playthrough on a channel, you know what I'm saying? I can just move on for this game. I can just post all the shorts I have for it. And then I'll show the, the Lord um, that we unlocked and everything like that. But I'm like, I was to that class, but I was like, I'm not going to keep playing the game. And then I can't even play multiplayer because the items I want are from the Deer Covenant. And you need about 1,200 of these cut off hands. And I only got 251 because I had to stop playing multiplayer. But yeah, but basically, like I said, you can come down here and about every 15 minutes, as long as you don't die, uh, you can get about uh, 20,000, maybe even more, depending on how much of multiplier you have, about 20,000 of vigor every uh, 15 minutes or more. It just depends on the multiplier you have and uh, if your game doesn't glitch out when the Crimson Reaper comes in. Because usually, I, that's the first time I've died to him without me not dodging. Like, I've died to him when I tried to block or just trying to hit him, but... 
I usually can always dodge that attack because the dodge frame, the dodge frames in this game are pretty lenient. But when the game starts glitching out and um, the frame rate starts messing up, it's like, no, you're gonna die. It's just not gonna happen, right? It's crazy. Go ahead and shoot your two shots. And again, like I said, once you kill this guy, he usually always drops the seed and bigger skull. It's like automatic. And you'll get more runes. I mean, more vigor or whatnot. So it kind of makes up for a, you, if you die, you know what I'm saying? The time that you gotta wait again, but it's ridiculous. Like, it should be fixed. All the stability issues and stuff like that. Because they've been fixing grinding spots, AFK glitches, and some other stuff. But they haven't fixed the bug the way you lose your level. It's just, it don't make sense to me. And then they say, don't be an Umbral, but you get all these rewards for being an Umbral, so. <laughs> it's just like, I understand, you know, and I'm not making this video to complain. It's more, I just want to show off my build, because I'm still excited about the game. Like, I want to show off my build and show off my farming spots. So that you may, if you want to try this build out in the Dark Lightsaber, if you want to try this farming spot out, see if it works for you. Um, also, to let you know, like, there is hope if you lost your build. There is hope. Um, you just have to form mimics. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't um, think about clipping that from my other videos and saving that so that way I could show you where the mimics were. But I didn't even know how to kill mimics at first. So you have to just look at the um, the wiki if you want to find the locations. Um, all you got to do is when you find a mimic, you just simply yank it out and then let it find it. And then basically when you know you have a mimic, it's because the drop will start to wiggle like it's alive. Like usually when it drops, it just be a single item and it's just like straight up in the air. But the mimics be wiggling. And so you can look at the wiki to figure out where the locations is and you can simply just form those enemies. Put the buff on. But yeah, like I said, those are the two times you could have just ended the video if you didn't want to see any more. Oh, this hot guy needs to For some reason, these enemies are dumb to where they'll follow you even if you drop down. Also, again, this is a safe spot right here. You don't want to have to worry about nobody chasing you. If you need a breather, also, that's how you can heal. Because you can't heal when the Scarlet um, Shadow shows up unless you go to a safe spot. So, we'll try this again. Hopefully, when he pops up, the game won't mess up. But if you use this Umbral Eye, you don't really have to worry about too many enemies. Okay, I dropped down to the wrong spot, but it is what it is. Um, so usually I'll just go on this ledge. Okay, so now you follow me. Let's go right here. He's gonna he should come back up here. Like I said, usually I'll just run over here. And like I said, they might have catched the Reaper to where. Yeah, they can follow you better after they patch it from the AFK farming and stuff like that. I ain't never did the AFK farming, but I don't think they should have patched it, like, right away. If you can't even patch the other problems in the game, you know? Like I said, just come in a safe spot and you'll be able to heal. And then you have to get rid of the um this guy or else he'll end up killing you while you're trying to farm. The problem is his health will regenerate if you go to the safe spot. Which I think is cheap. And then now he's about to come kill me. Well, he, he usually doesn't come out the ground that fast. But anyways, all you gotta do is get him to be stuck somewhere. It looks like they passed it, so they ruined that part. But no matter what, when you farm an umbral, this is how you get the multiplier. You simply just gotta find an area where you can trap him. It's a good farming spot, but it seems like they just keep patching to making him more difficult and more difficult. Because before, if you, you did a lot of attack to him repeatedly, he would die. You didn't even have to get the whole health bar. And then, um, before you could actually fling him a little bit farther with your 
when you do your soul play, but they patched that too, so like it's just it's crazy, man. I don't I don't get it, I don't understand it, why they keep trying to patch ways for us to level up. But then they don't want to patch the ways for us to lose our level. So it's like, oh, you can level up, but it you know, we're gonna patch that. But um we can lose these levels, but we're not gonna fix that. So hopefully they'll get this problem. I'm gonna leave the link in the description for the last video where we talked about the bug. And then I'm gonna leave a and again I'll leave where you can post your bugs and stuff like that. And hopefully that they'll be able to see that and recognize that because hundreds of people are posting on that. And it's just like, come on now, if everybody's having the same problem, you gotta get it fixed, man. And I don't mean everybody by the majority, but it's at least about, uh, for what I can see, about 30% of people that play this game run into that problem. Because some people just don't play multiplayer. And some people, they don't run into the problem. So, wait, if it's enough problem to where I say more than 10 players are having the problem, then it needs to be fixed. If it was only 10 players and it only happened once, but there are some people who keep forming up their levels and they go back to play multiplayer and they lose them again. I won't do that. That's why I just stopped playing multiplayer because it's like it's a waste of time for me to keep playing multiplayer and I'll keep losing my levels. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. It. Like I said, this is a great place to form. Uh, just like with any place in Umbro, you have to worry about the um, the guy. There is another place where you can cheese him, which um, a lot of people have already showed you. It's just right outside the bell room. You can just basically run up the post. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll show you the, the, the other things people usually do when they come here. But like I was saying before, if it's a mimic, it will be act this right here. The drop will act crazy. It'll just start waving left and right like crazy. That's how you know it's a mimic. But basically, what most people do when they form is they'll go uphill. And I'll show you what they do with the crimson um, shadow. But mine's just down here because usually, like I said, I can get him stuck on that ledge. But they might have passed it. That sucks because the last time I tried it before this video, it was working. So... It is what it is, but it's still a great place to form. And like I said, you just need to have a multiplier. Like, I still got my 3 plus bigger multiplier, so I'm still getting a lot of bigger. I'm even killing regular enemies. Like, we had 930, right? Um, and with that enemy, these enemies aren't really that good. The Umbra enemies give you more. So these pilgrims aren't that good. But what most people do is they'll get the shadow to be stuck right here. They'll run up here. Because I even got videos when I was doing that, when I was forming Umbra Scalings. And if you stay right here and then you drain him, majority of the time it'll fall off. It'll, or it'll get dropped down there and you can just keep attacking it. That's majority of the time. So that's the way people mostly form. But me personally, I like the other farming better because enemies spawn more quickly and because it's a denser area. Dang, I, I, I decreased my radius of that so it's not going to give me that down there. But even me just talking to you running around, I still got another level. So like I'm saying, like this is one of the best places because it's early on, so enemies don't hit that hard. And you can still upgrade. So now I just gotta focus on getting those up to level 25, and then then I'll probably go into New Game Plus. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for showing up to the video. This is Punchy Kid Gaming, and hopefully this will help you guys, especially if you watched the last video, because I got the last video's got almost got like 100 comments of people talking about it. So. This is a quick way to get your stuff back. Um, like I said, depending on what level you're at, if you're level 60, then it don't even, you don't, you know, I'm at a higher level, so I need, what, 15, like almost 1550 to upgrade to um, to go to the level. But when you're at level 60, this will help you get your stuff back really fast. Even if you die to the Crimson um, Shadow every I mean, the Scarlet Shadow every time, you still can get a lot by killing all these enemies and stuff like that. Like I said, you can pick up the skull every time. And everything you pick up that you don't need that's extra, like all this equipment and stuff, just sell it. That'll give you some more. Like I said, I hit strong enough to I don't worry about the humble parasites. And I just pop them too. And yeah, using this um Marco's Umbro, Marco Axe Umbro Eye, it's, it's a very good for that. But yeah, this is a spot, like I said, usually what I do, and it usually works, but they might have patched it to where it doesn't work as good, because like I said, they keep patching it, um, 
the spots. It is what it is. Um, it's coming to the last time I'm gonna talk about it, so that's why I decided to put this at the end of the video or whatnot, and put the timestamps to be like, if you don't want to hear me talk about it, that way you could. The people who's watching this is mainly the people who are infected by the same problem. So I usually would just sit here. I get them to be stuck on the ledge and keep aiming at them, and then sometimes he'll drop down, and then I get them to be stuck there. But now they pass it to where he can follow me and whatnot because that's the best enemy to get the Umbro Scowling, which is what you need for the remembrances. And he drops a lot of bigger. And like I said, you have to remain in Umbro until he comes to get the best multiplier. And then as you stay here, the Reapers that are the Black Reapers, uh, they will pop up the Stillness enemies, I believe they're what they're called. And then the Tooth Fairy enemies, which are like the what they're called the despair enemies they'll pop up obviously these little gargoyles they don't be scared of nothing so i'll try this one more time but like i said this video is basically over if you're watching now you're probably just like me also trying to see if they really did pass this guy to where i can't cheese him no more but i still kill him on my own i don't make him fall to his death because i can take this lift up and make him fall to his death pretty easily but i really just kill him See, that's why I hate. Like, I, I switched the thing and I ain't pressing X no more, and it's still taking my heals. I was like, I'm gonna heal twice and that's it. But it still will let me heal three times. Now I don't have any at all, but it's all good. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen, but I wanted that drop, just in case I died anyway. But sometimes he'll get stuck down there as well, and you can just attack him from up here. I lost my health, so I might just end up cheesing him this time. Okay, so get him to spawn. Looks like they changed the safe spot a little bit because usually he'll pop up a little bit faster than that. Try this again. Or he might be stuck up top, which which is usually what I would do a lot quicker. But it seems like they pass him to where he's better at falling than me. Because usually I'll just get him stuck up top. But it seems like now it's working, so he's stuck up there. So this is usually what I would do, and then I would never go to a safe spot again, or else he'll respawn. The only problem is when you climb the ladder, you're going to be forced to. I didn't mean to fall down. Yup, now he's going to spawn again. It is what it is. <laughs> so you just try not to fall down. Then you ain't got to worry about it. Unless you want to stay down there. Then we'll see if he, if he comes down here. He'll probably fall down here and watch. Swap this. Cause like I said, he they got it to where he'll dodge these. Yep, now he's down. Here. 
You get iframes when you first climb the ladder, so that's the thing. But, he killed me. I didn't even mean to drop down there, but I thought I might as well do a punch attack when I did. But anyways, as you see, there's ways of cheesing to where you get stuck, but... They, it looks like they passed it, so... I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. For those of you who stuck to the end of the video, <laughs> y'all know my pain, because like I said, the people who were just stuck all the way are the same people who experience losing their levels. Um, other than that, I really enjoyed the game. I try never to really be too negative in my videos or nothing like that, but... Sometimes you just gotta talk about the truth, man. The game has just got a lot of problems, and I love it. But I won't be making any more videos about problems or something like that. I just really want to show off my build and show you guys how to find the spot. So, I'll see you guys later.